Hi everyone, so we are starting with the next video of uh, fifth chapter that is scope of e-business. Now what exactly do we mean by scope? Scope means Hindi mein daira. Kitna widened koi cheez hai. Length and breadth agar measure kare, to kitani wide hai cheez. So when we talk about scope of e-business, how wide, what are the gamuts, what is the uh, length and breadth of e-business and what all does it involve. So starting with the scope of e-business involves B2B that is business to business. Second is B2C, B2C is business to customers. Now this is not alone because customer also responds so customer to business. Next is intra B that is between again business and within a business firm between the various departments. This is again not alone because the employees and business also interact and the next one is and the last one is C to C. Now what is C to C? Customer to customer. We will quickly start with B to B. Now what exactly do we mean by B to B? Business to business. One business firm talks to another business firm. You will say what for? Of course you know it. You have seen it. You go to a mall you want to check out something in the stock and it is not there. What does the person at the reception do or at the counter do? He immediately tells you, please tell me what item do you want? I'll confirm with the uh, my same kind of store in Jalandhar and let you know. Business is communicating with another business to confirm things. Sometimes the business gives order to another business house for some particular kind of thing and the other business house responds to it. So this is a very common parallance used in e-business where order giving, order taking, many other things are involved. Let's quickly read through what does it talk about. Both the parties involved in e-commerce transaction are business firms. We know it that they are business firms and hence name B2B. What is the purpose? The purpose is creation of utilities, whatever you need or delivering value required requires a business to interact with number of other business firms which may be suppliers or vendors or diverse inputs. So you need to know suppliers, you need to know vendors because you need different types of input. Now you want to manufacture suppose a car uh, or maybe you want to assemble a car. So for every different component there would be different vendors. When you contact the business a car assembling firm uh, communicates with different vendors for different components. What is it called? It's called business to business. They may have part of channel of distribution to consumer or it could be something like direct and indirect channel. When you talk in terms of indirect channel, when you're communicating with the agents, you are talk, uh, talking about the dealers, when you're talking about the wholesalers, the retailers and the uh, manufacturers. So they communicate uh, uh, with this proper channel and then the goods reach to the consumer. So when business firms all talk, that is manufacturers, dealers, agents, uh, wholesalers, retailers, when they talk, it's business to business. Now, the benefit, use of e-commerce expedites. Now, expedites means makes it quick, the movement of information as well as documents. Quickly, quick transfer, online transfer is happening. Quick money transfer also, of course, yes, money get e-cash is like really uh, the in thing these days. We have uh, BHIM, we have uh, uh, then um, Paytm and other ways and Google Pay is the best way to make payment. So these are the things, Amazon Pay, these are the best way to conduct your e-business. Example, traditionally B2B was used for electronic data interchange. That is when you talk about to send and receive purchase order or invoices. Just for this purpose, it was used. But now, presently, at the moment, what is it used for? A manufacturer of an automobile firm requires assembling of large components, which in turn are being manufactured elsewhere within the organization or overseas. He'll communicate this way through B to B, that is business to business. So I hope the business to business part is clear to you. Let's come to next one, B to C, business to customer. Now what exactly do we mean by one side business, the other side is customer. Here transactions have business firms at one end. So you again, you have business firms and other end it is customers. Like we had here business firms at one end and uh, the other end also here transactions are business firms, both the side business to business, both side business firms were involved. But here it's business to customer. So here one side is business and the other side is the 
customer. Now, purpose, it entails a wide gamut of marketing activities such as promotion, music films, etc. Everything which you can think of reaching to the consumer or the customer online is business to customer. Think, close your eyes, you'll get 200 items, all your sites selling you clothes, all your sites selling you music, films, everything, business. Nowadays, e-business is trending like hot cakes. La, right. Next, benefit. It is, it lowers your cost. Of course, yes. And it hires the speed because you get things at the click of a mouse. The moment you order, within a day or two, you get your things. You know, initially I used to think how people can buy uh, things online. This chapter was introduced in our um, syllabi somewhere around 10 years back. And I did one e-transaction and I purchased a watch. And in my school, we one of the students got a laptop, another person uh, got a debit card because I did not have a debit card and credit card also at that time. So someone got a credit card and someone got uh, uh, the dongle for e-connection, the connection. And then we made online purchase in the school and it was a big thing and the thing was delivered in school. And we showed to everyone, see this is the order we've got online. 500 rupees watch and we flaunted to the whole school. Can you believe that? So that's what, you know, it was, it was like, wow, 10 years back. Today it's okay. I've ordered this online. I've got it. That is what business to customer is. Right. Example, ATM speeds up withdrawal of money. Everybody uses ATM. Everybody uses debit card, credit card. It was once upon time. Oh, you have a debit card. Oh, you must be very rich. You have a credit card. You must be very rich. Nobody's rich and poor. Man, everything is available, uh, uh, this thing, uh, with the banks. The moment you open up your saving account, they give you a debit card immediately. Online service by companies. That was not done initially. Now everything is online. You must be just, when you uh, are uh, sometimes playing your PUBG and you switch over from one game to another, in between comes the surveys for different games or pop-ups for different games and they ask you to download from Play Store. So that is what online service by companies not one way traffic business doesn't communicate only to consumers consumers also reciprocate to business how will you talk to business you have to lodge your complaint you'll talk to business you have to ask your queries airtel call 198 that's customer to business airtel is a business you are a customer using user right so Business to customer is not one-way traffic. Customer to business complements it by providing customers to interact with the business at free will. Example, online shopping, toll-free calls uh, for anything call up 1-800-3423, whatever. 1-800 is what toll-free in India stands for and making queries, lodging complaints. So this is what is all about business to customers and I am getting carried over. So tomorrow morning, I'll be doing a shopping uh, online or maybe today evening itself. Next we talk about is intrapi. What is intrapi? If you remember when we talked about the three ways of uh, conducting e-business, we said it's internet, intranet or extranet. Internet we all know, intranet we do not know but I told you the meaning that when we use it within the organization. Like for example, in an organization there are four departments, production, finance, HR, marketing and sales. Now these four departments when they communicate, want, they want to communicate with each other uh, like for example production person wants to know about the uh, products which marketing people have sold or they want to know about the finances released or the uh, manpower or any kind of communication or suppose sometimes there is a, a there is a in, in marketing there is some kind of uh, a customized product which need to be uh, manufactured and marketing people tell to the production people how do they communicate usually it is through intranet. They you do not use internet. Why? Because that's like little expensive also. So they have their own system of communicating with each other. Like uh, uh, we can take like in a house, there's an intercom facility where you have different room numbers, but one connection is there and you communicate with each other. Similarly, you use a internet, intranet within the organization and this is called intra P commerce. Now, here parties involved in the electronic transaction are from within a business firm. So it is now not outside anywhere. It is within business firm. And thus the name is Entropy. 
like i told you production finance hr marketing and sales four departments are there right it includes use of internet like i have told you for managing interactions and dealing among various departments and people or persons purpose just as intercom facilitates voice communication within the office intrapi does it for the departments or within the uh, vicinity where production is happening or where this interaction is required benefits be here immediately decisions become well 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 informed decisions why because if they want to communicate they can immediately do that and they know the right kind of information better coordination yes so if marketing people want the production people to go hurry up with the production they can do if they want the production people want the finance people to release finance quickly they can do so speedier workflows yes because you can come to know about the uh, human uh, resource requirement also so the workflow goes very faster decision making becomes better efficient inventory and cash management everything is within the organization you know it relating to finance relating to the stocks greater utilization of plant and machinery Minim, uh, wastage is minimized effective handling of customers yeah because uh, when you uh, within the organization when you are well uh, coordinated you always deliver goods on time and the customer with customers you have better coordination effective human resource management like i just told you that people get more coordinated and they work in a better manner now example is 3d graphic communication another example to do with it is b2e business to employees now here it is business to employees i think nobody knows it better than us as on date we are using it too much when we work from home when we have video conferencing when we work or attend meetings zoom meetings or uh, uh, like uh, monthly sales meetings and we have microsoft sales uh, um, you know meetings all these are just nothing else but the b2e the firm's interaction with its employees uh companies are resorting to personal recruitment recruitment is done online interviewing people and selection is done even sometimes trainings are done hr department is providing training so we can write here training also is being provided online then employees can use electronic catalogs uh, ordering forms yes access inventory um information video conferencing online meeting work from home is what we are talking about now next we'll move on to c2c I am teaching you online transaction and I am getting appelled by the idea to buy something online within no time and I'll show you okay what did I buy huh uh, next is c2c what is c2c now here little different customer to customer how can customer to customer interaction happen on the the internet or in e business olx pe bechte aapke paas kuch samaan hai आप क्या करेंगे ओ पे लगाएंगे और ओ से किसी और को बेच देंगे तो खरीदने वाला भी कस्टमर और बेचने वाला भी सेकेंड हैंड बुक्स हो गई सेकेंड हैंड फोन्स हो गए जो भी चीज़ें हैं वो सारा का सारा वेन्यू बाय ऑन लाइन सेलिंग सोल्ड इज द वन हु सेलिंग इज अ कस्टमर बिकॉज ही इज नॉट ही इज यूजिंग इट फॉर इज पर्सनल यूज एंड द वन हुज बाइंग इट इज ऑल्सो अ कस्टमर इट इज नॉट अ कमर्शियल सेलर इट इज सी टू सी कमर्स here business originates from consumer and the ultimate destination is also consumer so yahan se origination bhi consumer hai aur destination bhi consumer hai purpose kya hai e-commerce technology provides market system security to such transaction which otherwise would have been missing if the buyers and sellers were to interact in anonymity of one to one transaction now you know like uh, um, if i just communicate to someone that i want to sell a particular thing maybe the buyer he may cheat me or uh, the seller may cheat the buyer things can happen now it's an open site olx is open site ebay the olx of comparatively all the uh, you know, uh, customer to customer transaction then you have uh, paypal you make payments through paypal uh, when i was talking about the various uh, um, uh, the the ways ways of e payment i told you Uh, it's very difficult to open up a paypal account and usually all transaction all international transactions are done through paypal and it's very very well secured way of making or mode of payment so benefit is when you want to have a global reach best suited for products where there is no established market mechanism example are ebay paypal and olx uh i was generally talking to some people and uh, there is a proper site in uh, europe 
where people buy day to day items on these websites customer to customer and they're very very common people can buy things at a very uh, you know minimal price and uh, enjoy those things and they are in very good shape quality standard everything so that's how this happens even nowadays people put on the facebook that they want to sell particular item because they're shifting from one place to another so these are the things which are happening quite often nowadays i hope the scope of e business is clear to all of you here the next topic is outsourcing the outsourcing is out of syllabus for 2020 so the syllabus and the chapter not the syllabus or sorry the chapter 5th gets over for all of you enjoy yourself bye bye ta 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 ra will do the synopsis very soon see you and with synopsis i'll show you what did i buy